check, 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 check. Hello, I'm back. Hi, uh, Joey Dupuy and Ray McNamara. Uh, do you know if this is a race to nine, a winter side match? Do you know? Uh, is this a B side match? Do you know? Yeah, maybe ask the chat here. Joey plays a safe. And might have left him a mass say around it if he didn't leave him a piece of it. If he left him a piece of it, he might scratch, so. I, and I have to go play Francisco Cabral. This is going to be good. See you guys. Bye. All right, sorry, folks. I stepped out, and uh, all of a sudden, Mike Zuglin must have called the match outside uh, doing my dirty deed. Uh, Rafael did win uh, his match. Pretty update for you guys. And now you're watching Ray Mack, the right-hand man here at Snookers, playing Joe Dupuy, 0-0. Zero, zero. And this is not a race to nine. It's actually a race to seven. So I'll change that because this is a B-side match. So the loser of this match will be eliminated from the tournament. And there you go, race to seven.
Okay. Little two rail kick here. Just don't get too square behind the five. You can scratch. Hit it good. Hit it good for the safety. No, he didn't get behind the nine. So Joe Dupuy with a shot on the five should at least get out here and make it a one zero match. We're racing to seven. Wow. Kind of overdid it there. Man overboard. Ball in hand. Look at the two. I guess Ray Max going to drag the rock down there and go after the two ball. He can play safe here. Actually get the two out and the eight separated here using the one ball and ducking the cue ball if he wishes. But uh, He might just play safe on the two. Play that uh, three rail safe shot off the two ball. Let's see. Oh, he went after it. And he got it out of there. And it goes past the seven. Nice shot. Perfect line just to let the cue ball slide off a little bit below the three. Put a four in the side pocket. If he gets straight on the four, it'll be perfect. If he doesn't, he'll still have a shot. That's almost perfect right there. He can go to the rail and back out if he wishes here. I was just talking to BTK outside. He says, oh, what happened in that match? I said, you tell me what happened with that three ball and that seven ball you missed. I said, I seen some freaky stuff happen. I said, and then he twisted his arm on the five ball. And then he completely missed the, uh, the eight ball. I said, there was some weird stuff. But he's out there happy. He's grooving to the music. You know, here at Snookers, they have outdoor speakers where the music's just moderate. So you can still have a conversation and Billy was out there grooving to Motown. <laughs> he was like, oh, let me let me enjoy the moment. One second. He said, OK, now I'm ready. <laughs> He's having fun, man. And that's what I always say it's about. He's having fun.
got on the the wrong side of this eight ball here. But being at the nine is in the middle of the table. You know it's a it's a shot even if he's on the 50 yard line with the nine he's still going to have a shot so he should be OK. He, he probably just dragged this to the rail. Just watch your speed. I mean if you want to hold to the left side or the right side. He can he can actually draw it to the rail and then right you see what a cue ball is now he can actually get right back there if he wanted to but it's not really worth the risk and he's looking at it from that angle. I don't think it's worth the risk. I think he got a shot from the left side or the right side. You know without uh, contending with possible scratches or hitting a point of the side pocket. And if unless you really know how you're stroking the ball and, and the speed. Don't play above the sides if necessary. And that works. Just met another gentleman. He came down. He said, oh, I heard you on the A. He says, I can't believe how this place looks. He was he was outside with his niece. Came over with his niece and uh, introduced himself when I went outside. Nice. Nice to see people coming down. We got a tie ball game here, folks. 1-1. One, one. Quick race to seven. Wow, nicely struck. Again, the natural uh, ability of Joe Dupuis just to get up there and cut that right in. You see Mr. Pat Fleming uh, off to your right side of your screen there also in a match. Joey's got, uh, oh, I don't think Ray Mack can actually get to the rail, right? Kind of measuring it up here. But I don't think he can get to the rail. The six ball, I think, is in his path. Oh, 
Oh, maybe he can. All right. So he should hit this. I mean, he should hit it on the top of the two ball, not behind it. The way he measured it up, the mirror system. There it goes. Sunshine, oh, and don't it feel good? Are we still, uh, where am I here? Is this chat still alive? Am I missing anything? Let me see. Oh, morale of the story. Always take on the four or five rail. <laughs> Moral of the story. <laughs> I, I was missing the chat. I'm sorry, folks. Uh, somebody must have touched the scroll and... I wasn't all, oh, that was 27 minutes ago. Oh, I didn't miss anything. Okay, good. Yeah, this should be a quick rack right here. This looks like it's dead on. And it was. Joe Dupuy now at two and uh, Ray Mack at one. Oh. Time is it? Oh, I actually asked somebody uh, yesterday what time it was in the on Facebook, and uh, the gentleman that I asked, oh, well, the gentleman that answered was the gentleman that showed up with his niece. He said, "Hey, Al." I said, "What?" He says, "I'm the guy that told you what time it was last night." I said, "Oh, you're the guy." <laughs> he said, "He said I was out back. He says I was I had a fire pit going." He says, I had a couple of drinks. He said, I had my iPad and just enjoying the, the matches. That's cool to hear. I said, so I put you to sleep? He said, no. He says, I was wide awake. <laughs> this, is, this is a nice place to play safe right here uh, for Ray Mac. Just get down below the five ball, or you can use the one ball to get down below the five ball. He's going to use the cue ball here. Mm, a little bit harder. He's left it. He's not only left the one out, he, I think he's left the pocket. Joe can roll up and play the two on the side. Such an... Joe Dupuis don't take long. I mean, I love that talent, man. I love that type of play. I really do. I enjoy it. He knows he's got to climb through the uh, B side, so he, he wants to get it done. Get it done. Now, do you just stay up table and, and take the longer shot, or do you try to draw back and... And look for that window between the seven nine, which is risky. See, he's looking at the longest shot, staying up there. That, that's, I think, the right shot. Got to play the odds. I mean, unless it's really necessary for you to play for an open window, I, I don't think you should. Ooh. These, oh, I don't. Oh, these. The chat is not. Man, I'm missing so much. Wait a minute. Fifteen minutes ago. George's wife is watching. Jake, Rickle, Amen. Why is it not scrolling? All right, let me just give a test. Call it a tester. Not a Tesla. 
There we go. Okay, one minute ago. All right, we're working. Thank you, Gloria Jean. Ray does have the corner. From here, it appears he has the upper right-hand corner. Spin the cue with some left-hand English kid on top of the six. Shoot it in the corner at the bottom right. You don't have to hit this that hard. It's going to go. Say I'm old fashioned, say I'm over the hill. Ray Mack looking to tie this up at two apiece. Gets a little low on the nine ball and to the rail, but still a makeable shot for a seasoned player like Raymack. Two two. We're chugging along at Snookers. Tsunami shaft. Make sure to get in touch with Richard Shue. I know he's, I think he said he's not taking orders at this point because he's renovating, but just send him a reminder. A friend of him on uh, Facebook, he uh, goes under Richard Shue or uh, RJHQs. Something, uh, I brain farted here. I'll get it for you. I'm over the hill, man. <laughs> I am over the hill. <laughs> I got to do something to stay, to stay awake. I got six hours. Ooh, I got to take these logos down. <laughs> Sorry, guys. See that? I get involved over here with the chat. <laughs> um, what was I trying to say? Uh, I got to, you know, when I have nobody sitting in the in the booth with me here, uh, sometimes it gets like I could get to a point where I get mesmerized on the screen just watching pool, you know, sort of laying back and watching the pool match at home. So I, I at the booth that they built here, the soundproof built uh, booth, I uh, I'm leaving the door wide open, not only for circulation. But uh, I like to hear some of the noise, you know. I miss the uh, the balls clacking. No, nah, not a lonely place, Jay. No, nah. just uh, I, I get to the point where, uh, well, that's a different story. I got six hours sleep since I've been here in Rhode Island. 
But anyway, uh, I just get to the point where I just want to watch the match. What a cut shot. Now, if there were shots like that, you know, every so often, that, that sparks and ignites the engine. Yeah, I'm all game for that. That was some shot by Raymac right there. Is Pat Fleming still in? Uh, yes, he is. He's still in, and he's on the uh, B side. I what? B side? Oh, my God. Who's he playing? He's playing Frankie. Uh, I, that might be the A side. That might be the A side. I think Pat Fleming is still on the A side. Firing from the old hip. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Starting at his engines. <laughs> okay, I got the score right. I'm trying to keep occupied over here. Here comes my uh, lovely personalized waitress uh, that works. Oh, look. Oh, I got to take pictures. No. <laughs> it's. Anybody know how Lucas, I guess you meant to say Varner. Oh, yeah, it is Varner. Okay, uh, is doing over in Europe. Not sure. Um, pretty sure you can find something online about it, though. And, uh, yeah, Ray, he is uh, feeling it. He is. You know, it's, it's push time. It's push time. It's the B side. It's a short race to seven. So you, you got to snap yourself into gear, and he's feeling it. Christopher Bremen had a great time. Mike headed home. I guess you meant Mike DeMarco. Uh, Mike's not here. But I, I saw you, and I know you had a good time. I was glad you came down. I think it was you, Mark Kramer, and a couple other boys. It was great seeing you guys, and thanks for coming down for the trip. Ray back. Another bead. 3 2. Another match. That Michael Hill Hill, which I love. Have a safe trip, Chris. I know you got a ride ahead of you. And there you go. George just dropped a link to Q-Score. That's actually keeping the live updates of the uh, Whirlpool. So you click that on, and you'll be able to keep an eye on the scores. Thanks, George. Well, it's good to hear. Jeremy uh, Sosi won... Uh, Ninth eight. Nice. You know, Jeremy Sosi actually, well, I always say it when I'm on the air when his name comes up because that one year that he did a lot of traveling to get points and work for the Moscone, and all of a sudden they decided to pick that year MVPs from the past years was cold blooded. I knew he had that spot. And they wanted him to, uh, to come as a secondary in case something happened to one of the other players, and Jeremy just had things to do. 
And we miss him here, you know. He would have been here, and we mentioned it already, you know, a couple other players like Jason Shaw, you know, he would have been here also, and Lucas Varna would have been here. But, you know, when you get on a stage like that, um, you got to go for it. You know, you're, that's, that's like opportunity on a carousel, and if it passes, that opportunity passes, I'll see you later. Somebody else will be there. Jason Shaw. Oh, Regina, what a sweetheart. Oh, my God. I'll sit right Yeah, Thank you, Regina. Thank you so much. Little Parmesan would be nice. Yeah. Thank you. All right, folks, uh, you're going to hear a mute. Uh, I'm going to mute myself uh, on the microphone. Uh, I have to have a little manje, and I'll keep the score up to date. And that's for you for the, taking care of us. All right? That's for you. Okay. You're welcome. So I'm going to be muted. I can't show you my dish. Regina actually made me a special dish. Oh, my God. <laughs> and actually brought it into me. Thank you, Regina. First class all the way here, folks. Okay, I'm muted. I'll keep the score up to date. Three, three around the apple tree. Oh my God! What a what a plate! All right, I'm muted. Well, <laughs> I'm smacking away. <laughs>
Glad that cue ball pocked itself right on top of the seven ball. Unbelievable. I don't even know if Joe can throw this in. Good thing I showed up for you, sir. There you go. 
Ray McNamara and uh... Ed Cohen back in the booth, folks. Um, I'm still eating over here, and this I got a little plate of soup. All right. Um. Uh, yeah. Uh, good soup too. Uh, I'm waiting on Pat's playing Frankie. The last time they played was a sandcastle, and I think Frankie scratched about four times a row on the break. <laughs> He stormed out of there. It was all good for Pat. Pat did in, in Sandcastle, but they're matched up again now, and it's it's about. Uh, it's 5-3 Frankie right now, going to seven. So we might be hitting the highway soon. Long ride home. Ray's uh, must have come far here. He's uh, he must be playing good. I mean, this is about the final twelve or so, ain't it? Right in that neighborhood, I would guess. up on Joey. Uh, he didn't hook him. I didn't sell out. Well, you got to play the safety here. The six is all the way down on the bottom. He just needs to play the safe and leave him real long, if anything. Is that the six down on the bottom? Yes. I'm sorry. That's the three and the four. These colors are killing me, Al. He's straight in on this. Kind of scary to try and cheat this pocket. You know, it's a little bit tighter. Real first, maybe even. That's what he just was looking at—a real first right there. But then you got the tight pockets that contend with with real first. It's not the time to sell out at four to three. Race to seven. him a cut. Ed had a step out. Uh, Mike Zuglin just called him to the tournament chart. He'll be back.
All right, folks, uh, Steve Sutton, sudden death, uh, decided to come in in the, between the tournament. He's playing in the second chance tournament, so I'll be muted, and he'll take it over. Thanks, Stevie. Not a problem, sir. What's going on, everyone? Should be a great match. Ray Mack and Joey Dupuy. I know Joey lost to Rafael Debreo, 9-4. I don't know who Ray lost to. I, it might have been Jared D'Amalia, because I think Jared D'Amalia is undefeated also. He's in the top four, playing great. Anyway, so this one is... 5-3, going to 7 on the B side. Yeah, I asked Joey earlier, I'm like, I know he played Raphael right here on the stream. He said that uh, he was up. He was up quite a bit, and then he blinked, and Raphael caught up real quick and ended up taking him out, So, which Raphael plays great, so it doesn't surprise me. And Jared's playing great, too. So Here we go. Ray Mack to the break. Watch the two ball, wing ball in the corner. Right in the heart of the pocket. And look at that nine ball. Nine ball kind of squirted loose a little bit. I was gonna say it could be for early rack, but not really because there really aren't any balls near that nine ball. So I mean, he's got a pretty. I mean, he's kind of far away. He's kind of far away from the one. He's gonna cut the one in the corner. And there's a lot of traffic to try to get on that too. Oh, sorry. Actually, that's the that's the four ball. I'm sorry. Wow, that was a great shot. And still has shape on the one. It's hard to tell if that's a two ball or the four ball. I think it's a four, now that I look at it. That is a two, okay. Ray Mack has that automatic extension on the back of his cue. You just saw him just unscrew the bottom of his cue. It's pretty handy. Don't need a bridge and the uh, <coughs> don't need an extension on the bottom. You can just unscrew the bottom and pull it out like six inches. Play safe. He caught the point, but he's okay because he got behind the nine ball. Joey's going to be kicking. Not really an easy kick. Probably maybe that third diamond. Yep. Nice hit. Nice hit. And, well, I, guess I was going to say no reward, but Cody Porter in the chat. What's going on, Cody? Has there been a bracket? I don't know, Cody, if there's been a bracket posted. I don't know if anyone took pictures of it or not. I do know the final four. Um, I know Francisco Salas plays Rafael DeBreo and Jared Damalia and Billy the Kid, I think, are your top four on the uh, undefeated side. Ron Consanzio, is he still in? I believe he is. I think he's still on the B side. I think I walked over and saw him play earlier. That's a great shot right there by Ray. Great safety. I'm assuming, Cody, I'm assuming you played in the uh, American Pool and Billiards Fargo Rate Tournament yesterday. Oh, great hit, but unfortunately scratches off of it. What are you doing? Who do you want for the next match? Who do you got? Those two, they just... So Ray Mack with ball in hand. Yeah, those are the two on the winner's side. We just had Billy on. Okay. The other one has Raphael and Hope. Francisco Salas. Hope. Salas. Francisco Salas. Raphael and Salas. Thanks, uh, Mike. Yeah. <coughs> I, I did it for Steve, not for you. Oh, okay. Thanks. Good. I'm thanking you for him because he can't hear you. No, I can hear Trust me, you can hear Mike from a mile away. Ow! Best. 
All right, is Brian Chase still in? I don't know if Brian Chase is still in. I don't think so. I'm not sure if he's on the B side or not. Anyway, let's get back to the match. Ray shooting the four. One rail up for the five. Just make sure you keep an angle here on the six, on the five to the six. Yep. It's got a nice angle here. It can just draw off this one rail. He probably wants to be under the six, pretty much where his cue is, so he can draw up for the seven. <coughs> And he's pretty straight enough where he can do that. He can just come off that long rail a little bit. Let everybody know the next match. So guys, uh, quick heads up. We just found out the next match here on the stream is going to be New York's own Rafael DeBreo versus Francisco Salas. And that will be a winner's side match. Both those guys on the winner's side. The loser of that match will not be eliminated. They'll go to the B side. And Ray didn't like that shot. And I don't blame him. Got a little funky here on the six. Can you see how many viewers you have on here anymore? Oh, right there. Yep. Never mind. Ask me own question. Nice, 200 viewers, nice. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, you got lucky in the fact that I don't think Joey has a shot. He can see it, but I don't think he can pocket it. He can either play a safe here, or I mean, if he's feeling... If he's feeling froggy, he can play a bank cross corner. No, he can't do that, because the eight ball's in the way, never mind. Can he see it? I don't think he can see it. No, he's playing it safe. Behind the eight. That's a good shot. Great shot by Joey. Oh, good. I can hear if I'm playing or not. <clears throat> I don't know if I can hear my second chance match or not. I can hear it. So Ray looking at kicking one rail near that first diamond. Can't tell if he's using the diamond system or like the middle point system or a combination of both. I'm not quite sure how he kicks. Usually when I kick, I use the middle point system. I saw a, I got a DVD that uh, Alex Pagulian goes over the middle point system. That's kind of how I kick, and it's pretty effective. Let's see what Ray does here. <clears throat> Missed the whole ball. He's playing a Raymond system. <laughs> so, Joey with ball in hand and four balls. I mean, got to like him to get out here. Nice angle here on the seven roll. Roll down to the bottom rail for the eight. Oh, well, he's, I don't think he wanted to be exactly there. Now he's going to have to go up to the top rail and back down, I think. Oh, okay. Held it up. Oh, Troy's watching. What's going on, Troy? Jeez. I'm not going to repeat that. <laughs> And there you go. Joey, whoa, whoa, caught that point, and Joey's breathing a sigh of relief there because that would have put Ray on the hill. Uh, winner of Salas DeBreo and Billy the Kid and um, Jared D'Amalia. Those are your final four, Jake. Those are your final four on the winner's side. Salas and DeBreo and Billy the Kid and... Jared D'Amalia. Yeah, you're right, Chris. I beat you to it, though. <laughs> 
Five four, your score. A little scary though. It could have been, it could have been six three in favor of Ray. If that if that cue ball had dropped. Here we go to the break. I think he broke dry. Didn't hear anything fall, and Ray's coming to the table. This and with the bridge, I definitely expect him to make this. I know. Wow, he overcut that. I'm surprised about that. I know Ray's pretty good with the bridge too, so I'm kind of surprised that he missed that ball. Oh, Joey's not gonna like this. He's got on the rail here. He's on the rail, I mean, it'd be a little tough to get to the three. Wow. Nope, not that tough. <laughs> What's up, Steve? What's up, Dave? What's going on, man? I don't see Joey shooting the three in the side. Wow, nice shot. Makes it look so easy. Good stroke on that ball. Achieve the middle achieve the middle of the table. It's actually a, like a little bit of a funky angle here on the five to the six, unless he tries to try, tries to draw behind the seven just like that. Nice shot. Watch out nine ball. Watch out nine ball. The nine ball bit him. Yeah, it definitely bit him. And he's shaking his head. He knows it. I'm pretty sure he's behind the nine there. Oh, yeah. Did you try to mass say this? No. Joey, what are you doing? You can't mass say that. That'd be tough mass say. Yeah, I mean... Oh, he's gonna try to mass say this ball. Shot. That's a shot right there. What a shot by Joey. Unreal. Yeah, he's a little funky here. I would think he would just fall this down to the fall down or follow it up the top rail and back down, but he must have more angle than I think. Maybe his angle is going toward the eight or toward the corner. The top it right there is still on the side. You could yeah, you could do that too. You could stop it and have a shot. <coughs> well, he decided you know, he decided to follow it and it might cost him here. Cause that seven ball is gonna stick out for Ray. Yeah, I agree with Al. Al said, "Stop it there and have a shot. No reason to try to do anything fancy and get yourself in trouble." This is a t this is a tighter table. It's four and a quarter inch pockets, so you gotta you gotta hit him good. Definitely don't want to give Ray any breathing room. I don't think you want to stop there. I think you want to drop back a little bit to get closer, but should be okay here. I don't know if he's gonna come two rails, three rails around for the nine, or come around the table. No, he's going two. Oh, he missed it. He tried to throw it and missed it. And he leaves Joey in the bottom rail. Almost the same angle. 
Joey can pocket this, and I think actually he can go one, two, three rails around behind the nine to get shape on the nine. One, two, three. Yeah, that's pretty good. Definitely didn't want to hold that up. I, see, I think that's a shot Ray should have done initially. Kind of that same shot. And here we go. 5-5. Five, five. It's a 2-2 two, two race. Loser of this is eliminated. The winner continues on in the tournament. This is the Ocean State 9-ball tournament right here at Snookers in Providence, Rhode Island. Great turnout. 111 players today, this weekend. 100, 111 players. Everyone's fighting for the first place prize, which I believe is three grand. Not a bad payoff for a weekend. Not a bad payoff at all. I'll take that. Right now, if I win second chance, I'm looking at, I think, 340. <laughs> so, I mean, here we go. Joy to break. Wing ball went really high, but he makes a seven ball in the corner instead. There you go. You don't know how to keep score, right? I'll, I'll have my son come in. My oh, son will come okay. in. Okay. Oh, yeah, I do know how to do that. That's fine. Sure. Yep. Yeah, I do this on um, at Buster's, so I'm good. All right. Who are you? <laughs> All right, Joey, looking at a. Uh, Joey's looking at a 2-9 combo to go to the hill. What's up, man? 6-5. Joey Dupuy on the hill making a 2-9 combo to get to the hill. What? Oh. You got uh, Upstate Al's son joining with me. Yeah, uh, this one. Is that you? There you go. There you go. What's up, bro? What up? Love a nice tournament. Absolutely, man. Everybody. From everywhere. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Top players from all over the New England area. There goes the wing ball. And the five. Oh. And the eight. Wow. Well, I don't think Ray shoots again. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great break. He's got three balls on the break. Joey feeling the gear, wide open table. No problems here. He's got five balls left. Yeah, Joey's got a roll going. Yeah. And anyone who knows Joey, if he gets a roll going, yeah. <laughs> anyone's in trouble. Sean the four. He's good on the six. He can either just stop this or he can draw back like a foot or whatever. I I actually like stopping this here or maybe he's going to draw it. Yeah. yeah. I know he stopped it because now he got yeah. natural angle to come down for the nine. A smart shot. Spring it down. Yep. That one. It should, it do, should do it. Should do it. Yep. He three cushions it and came around the back. Absolutely. This nine for the match. There you go. Joey Dupuy wins. Final score, 7-5. to five. Good job, Joe.